Today we want to talk about when is a commercial RV generator needed. You can see here we have a picture of um, one of the commercial models we have that's actually a commercial diesel unit. They look a lot like the recreational units, so it's um, it's important to know why you'd want to go with one over the other and when you'd want to go with one over the other. So just to dive into some of the applications here, you can see um, food trucks, fire trucks, boom trucks, ambulances, police vehicles. They all, and many other applications, will require a commercial model, primarily because of the reliability you get with them, the longer run times, and how quiet they will be. So just like the recreational models are going to be very quiet, they're going to meet the standards where you'd want to be at for, you know, recreational for RV parks. But for commercial models, you know, um, we have a lot of customers use these for food trucks. For example, I was at the Taste of Chicago over the summer, and, you know, you're walking up and down the streets with all the vendors and food trucks, and you can hear all the loud generators, but what you don't hear is all the, uh, you know, the RV generators that are they're quieter, and you can hear the customers talking over each other, and, you know, are over the generator, they're ordering their food. You know, you don't want to be muffling out the customer while you're uh, while you're trying to work and do your business. And um, secondly, it's just flat out annoying to be walking past those loud generators constantly or working next to them constantly. So that's a big advantage of the quiet. But also is uh, the lifespan of them. You want something that's going to be reliable over time. Again, this could be your, for your business or, or if it's a fire truck, you know, you have the ladder that you, you shut the unit down or the vehicle down turn the generator on and you can use that ladder, you know, to get up to a, you know, second story building or whatever you have to do there. So again, you want something that's going to be last, uh, be able to last while you're, uh, when you need it most. So I think the commercial model would really be the way to go because of the build in them, the components, they're much more, um, much more heavier built that allows you to get longer run times out of them, longer lifespan out of them without putting the wear and tear on these. You know, again, circling back to a food truck, you're going to be out there from Thursday to Friday for some of these festivals or wherever it may be. And you're going to be out there for eight, 10, maybe 12 hours a day. You want something that's going to last. So, um, you know, again, boom trucks, what you might find with like electrical lines, someone has a cherry picker getting up there on the electrical lines to do repairs. You don't want the generator to give out and you'd be stuck out there and not be able to get up there. So again, you're going to want something that's really reliable. And these commercial units are the way to go. The, um, you can see here again, a lot of the, the reason we're going to find is a second bullet down for a more robust build that allows you, um, you know, heavy duty or components, a more reliable engine on it. It gives you longer run times. Also, the commercial models you find on um, some of them will allow you to get 240 volts out of it versus the 120 volts you find on non-commercial models. So again, food trucks, you know, if you have espresso machines in there for a coffee truck or you know, whatever it may be that might take 240 volts. This is really where you want to be to be able to power that equipment. And again, I can't stress enough the longer run times on there. Just the wear and tear you put on these units is really going to allow you to uh, to be where you want to be. Make sure you can, um, you know, stand up to the test of time with these and really put a, put a good lifespan on these. Also, you get a commercial warranty on them. So, you know, a lot of the RV recreational generators will have X, X amount of warranty on it in terms of the hours. And if you surpass those hours, they will consider that commercial and then um, you void your warranty pretty quick or run your warranty out pretty quick. And finally, these units, they do actually have the option to put a hydraulic pump on there. So for uh, if your application calls for that, depending on what you'd be doing against some boom trucks or, you know, whatever it may be that you're using this for, you have a hydraulic pump, a pump option you can add on to circulate the hydraulic fluid and, and uh, fulfill your need that way. So this is a, a brief kind of rundown of why commercial models are recommended and when they're recommended. I don't think you can go wrong with going a commercial route. So please feel free to give us a call at 800-800-3317 and subscribe below.